Hey YouTube, it's Amber Zero with part 2 of how to create your own custom YouTube layout. In part 1 I gave you the PSD with all of the guides to create your own YouTube layout. Um, with all those guides that gave you the exact dimensions of your video box, your subscribers, comments, and so forth, which I don't think anyone else on YouTube has made for the new profile yet. So at the moment I think I'm the only one offering that much precision on the new layout. Um, to get the new PSD, uh, for YouTube Layout 2.0, uh, click the screen right now and you'll be directed to my first video. Now, in this video, part two, I'm going to show you how to save your layout and then upload it to you. Okay, when designing your YouTube layout, um, keep in mind that YouTube only allows you uh, 256 kilobytes for the file size of your background. Uh, a way to make sure that you are reduced, uh, you have a reduced file size to keep it under that 256 kilobytes, is to not use too many different colors. The more colors you have in your image, the higher in size it's going to be. Um, for the most part, you can have a chaotic, all over the place kind of image, um, as long as it's not composed of too many different colors and shades and um, stuff like that. Now my uh, page is going to be relatively small in a uh, file size because it really has just a few different grays and I'd also like to bring up right now that uh, if you're not a Photoshop user or maybe your skills aren't just at where you want them to be, I also offer a uh, paid service. Um, you can PM me for details where I will create your own custom profile for you. Um, just PM me and I'll give you the details on that. Alright, moving on. Um, after you're done creating your YouTube layout, uh, you have everything where you need to be. Um, when you want to save it, you go to File, Save As for Web and Devices, not Save As. This is different. Click that, and down in the bottom left, you'll get the file size. 31.96 kilobytes, much, much smaller than I need to worry about uh, for YouTube's uh, file size limit. Now, if you did have a much larger file size, there's something you can do to knock down the, the size, but you're also going to hinder the quality of the picture. Up here where you can change your different file formats, I normally do PNG 24 because I'm fairly positive that has the best quality of all of them. Um, but what you can do is go to JPEG if you need compressed file size. Um, and what you can do is go to the quality slider, knock it down until we get below that 256. So with this image you can go almost all the way to 100 on JPEG. Um, JPEG is good for compressing file size, but it also, like I said, destroys the quality. So, if you can, go to PNG 8 or PNG 24. And then you just want to hit save, and save it to wherever you want. Uh, I've already done that, so I'm going to hit cancel. Cancel, and now I'm going to show you how to upload that to YouTube. Okay, go ahead and start up Firefox or Internet Explorer or whatever browser you use. I hope to God it's Firefox, though, because everything else sucks. Maybe not everything else, but definitely Internet Explorer. Um, Safari and all that, I guess, is fine. Alright, anyway. Uh, go up into YouTube, click on your profile name to get to your um, profile page. Next, we're going to want to do is click on Themes and Colors. As you can see, I've already uploaded this. Um, what we're going to do is select a theme. Um, I already have my preset one, so I'll show you this and click show advanced options. Now, you have to make a few uh, decisions here. Now, I already pre-built in these uh, lighter boxes in my the background of my design. I'm not sure if you can see them with the recording. In HD, you should be able to. Uh, standard definition, you might not be able to. So what I do is uh, the wrapper, uh, sorry, not the wrapper, yeah, the wrapper, I change the, oh, um, the transparency to 100%. Now, let me show you the difference. If I send it to none, I get this background color right here. Now I already have the colors incorporated, so I'm going to set that to 100%. And color palettes, I also have that at transparency 100%. I'll show you what that is at none. All right, see so it also fills in that background, but I already have the uh, lighter blue gray that I need. So hit 100% transparency on that. Next, hit browse and select the picture that you have made in Photoshop. So mine's on my desktop and it's not here anymore because I already did this. Select your image, press open, 
and it will reload here. It might not show up down here right away. In fact, it might go to a blank page, but trust me, it's there. If it's under 256 kilobytes, which it says right here, it's there. Sometimes it doesn't autom automatically update. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. Um, so don't like freak out and say it doesn't work. Next, you can play around with the text uh, title color and um, the link color and all that, and you're good to go. Uh, don't check repeat background if you're using my PSD. My PSD is already the perfect size. If you check repeat, um, sometimes you'll get these weird tiled images, but we don't need that because ours is already perfectly sized. When you're done, hit save changes and you're ready to go. All right, you've now uh, successfully made your own YouTube uh, custom layout. Uh, I'm Ambic Zero. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next video.